Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T. Wow, sounds what up, nice. Joni? Oh, you know, dude, hanging out. You know, usually by like the second or third one, you get you remember that we're doing podcasts and not gaming videos. What are you, what are you talking? Second or third one? Why? Well, because like the first one, you always like I'm the man on the. Oh wait, we're doing the podcast. Well, we literally do that like nine out of ten videos a week, <laughs> dude. <laughs> How we do a lot of videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So you know how cool we are. Not very. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Facts. On a scale of one to ten, I'd probably say a negative four. No, dude, we gotta be at least a half. Point yeah. five. Mm. I'm a point five. Mm. <laughs> you're like a point like five five. What? <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're like. Five hundredths of a point cooler than me. I don't know, man. I'm I'm just real. I, I'm I'm not cool. <laughs> Most people that meet you think you're cool. Oh, well, thank you, Joe. I think you're cool too. <laughs> Why? Well, thank you. But now that we've established how cool we are, because we are. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Crazy Down Podcast. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It has all of our gaming videos plus this podcast. It's a uh, Crazy Town Media under YouTube or also on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, Grandma's Kitchen Radio, everywhere you can listen to a podcast. Speaking of Grandma's Kitchen, twitch.tv TNT Dynamite every morning at 9 a.m. Central. So you call your stream? T- <laughs> Grandma's Kitchen. <laughs> TNT D I O N O N G S T underscore Crazy Town. Nice. Yeah, dude. You should just, yeah, every day you, your title should just be Grandma's Kitchen and see if people come in. <laughs> Grandma's Kitchen. It's just, it's Grandma's Kitchen dash Monster Hunter World. I, you know, and I was thinking I could have done a cooking stream when I cooked yesterday. Dude. Just like let the cause that pot was looking great. I want to do some cooking videos. Let's do it, Jonas. It's a lot of editing. You can do, do it that. when you make candy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be the best. The Jonas best. makes Jonas makes little penis pops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little sticks with penis suckers on them. Big old cock suckers for, for baby showers. Oh, I should make penis pe- suckers. Call them cock suckers. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh, oh my god. That was genius. <laughs> so pure. So natural. <laughs> I'm sure it's already taken. Oh. I'm sure that's already taken. You could taken. make them like But that is great. You could make them like girthy and like like What? <laughs> make them like a You know like when you make homemade popsicles? Like there, you you pour the liquid into into like a cylindrical tube and you put a stick in. You can just make these big bulbous <laughs> Cocksuckers. <laughs> Cocksuckers. <laughs> and then you, if you make uh, like the frozen ones, they could be cocksicles. <laughs> wow. Jonas, we could get a whole week of corner to market. Dude, dude. you can get a, you can make like jello cups shaped like cocks. What would you call those? <laughs> Cock wigglers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jonas. What's the, come on. <laughs> now that's too much. <laughs> no, Cock wigglers is too far. Like, I'm fucking with you. Uh, no, this so, is. I feel like we could corner the market on we, penis-shaped oh. food. Yeah. So, I'm gonna start out talking a little bit about the world right now. People are saying uh, that the world is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck are you going? With <laughs> so people are saying. <laughs> Nobody's saying that. <laughs> yeah, they are. Okay, everybody's saying it. <laughs> so, first off, climate change was a bitch. People are like, <laughs> yeah, man, people are like, it's a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> going up. Female dog. Nobody ass. cares. Then, then, like, we had locust swarms in Africa. <laughs> there is. There's, there's locust swarms in Africa. Did you get this news from the Bible? <laughs> no, this okay. is the army. We're living this right now. Okay, I, I'm not aware, dude. Yeah, I don't there's watch locust these. swarms in Africa. Fair. Then, then, then C19 hit. Then there's more locust swarms. <laughs> now, now. C19 sounds like a movie. I'm sorry. Keep going. I'm sorry. Now, fucking murder hornets, dude. Murder hornets. Killer Mur- bees. Murder hornets. Africanized bees. No, these are hornets. Africanized These are not hornets? Africanized bees. These are murder hornets from Japan. Oh, oh, the Japanese hornets, dude. Dude, these hornets, ha- they said that they, they are called, they call them murder hornets. Okay, come on. Because they can kill humans. In like, in like packs, right? No, I don't think so. Swarms, I mean. Not uh, no, 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 no. 
These these hornets are are showing up in Washington State. Okay. They are the size of your thumb. Oh well, fuck all that. And they kill fifty people a year annually in Japan. Probably. So through... like one a week, somebody's dying from a hornet, dude. But I mean, that's probably because they're allergic, right? I don't think so, dude. I mean. But what they're what the reason why they're called murder hornets isn't because they can kill humans, although they can. They wipe out other bee colonies, and it says like when you find mm. the colonies that they wipe out, all the bees are decapitated. <clears throat> so they go in, they bite or whatever the heads off all the bees, wow. and just leave their headless corpses. The systematic it, execution. I <laughs> like that, dude. Yeah, I like that style. Yeah. So everything's going crazy out there. <laughs> <laughs> And now this and, is proof. And now, this is proof. And now we got murder hornets, dude. <laughs> All right, so they're not like more dangerous to us. I mean, per they se. can kill humans. They yeah, just, but, they said they don't really attack humans unless they're provoked. It's, it, that's my point. And, and like I said, if I take the idea of like bee stings being or killing people. I could see 50 bee stings killing people in a year. Yeah, well, I could I see mean, more. Uh, honestly, hornets in, in the Japan. U.S. will kill people too because they they mass swarm. They can sting you so much, and all your all the adrenaline like it will kill yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. If and you I've get enough that. stings, I've you, heard of even that. If you're happen. not allergic. Yeah. So. Yes, I hate bees. <laughs> so 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 much. I'm pretty sure you ain't got nothing to worry about, man. I don't. I'm like, I like. You want to see think, a grown man run? I think your chances of being killed by a swarm of bees. <laughs> Pretty fucking low. I just don't want to be stung by one bee. I mean, yeah. I don't like bees, dude. They're yeah. gross. They're, They're gross. They're gross. <laughs> you want to call bees gross? They're, They're gross. Actually, gross. They're actually kind of cute. They're all slimy and what? slimy, dude. They're like uh, hairy. They got little they got dude. cute little eyes and they got honey on their tips. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I met a woman with honey on her tips. <laughs> no, this is, these are beautiful creatures. Oh, you can beautify them all day. I'm running. I think when it comes to insects, it goes like butterflies, then bees in level of cuteness. Wow. Butterflies to bees. Yeah. Well, we colorful, loving things to death monsters who come and fly and gross everything out. Jonas, they embroider bees onto children's clothes. I don't know why. It's like they're promoting terrorism. <laughs> they're not putting cockroaches on them or Dung beetles. I'd rather do that. Oh, wait. Ladybugs, Jonas. Mm. Uh, ladybugs? Ladybugs. They is... bite and fly and shit now, right? I've never. What are, where, where do you live? <laughs> what planet? <laughs> In America. <laughs> where do you live that these ladybugs are biting? They, they have evolved. Bees? They used to never fly, and they used to never bite, and now they do both. I swear to God, dude, they, they've evolved. The ladybugs have evolved in our lifetime. I'll, I'll take your word for it. It's all right, man. Now I they're, mean, they're it's truth, not facts, as far as I'm concerned. There's a because they they used to be red and they have orange ones now, dude. Okay, I don't know if that's boys. right. I can't. I can't. You ever see a ladybug fight a bee? I can. <laughs> no, I'm not out here. I'm not a fucking <laughs> entomologist. No, I haven't seen it either. But I bet it would be interesting. <laughs> I think the ladybug would probably lose because it doesn't have much. Why? She's a lady. Wow, Jonas. <laughs> trying to say I am a misogynist. You caught me. <laughs> you caught me. Yep, caught me. Caught me right handed. So these bees are an invasive species, obviously. Yes, of of the Washington State. They flew across the ocean. They no. they would fly five thousand miles. Yeah, I don't they would fly five thousand. The motherfuckers are brought over on a boat. Is there is is Washington landlocked? No, it's a coastal state. Oh, funny how that goes. Do you think they may have received some shit from Japan? Uh, like mm. like uh, Casio keyboards? <laughs> Nintendo's. Is that racist? Nintendo's. Is that racist? <laughs> Is that racist? Getting Casio <laughs> keyboards from Japan. Yes, that's the new racist statement. Those <laughs> Japanese and their Nintendos. <laughs> See? Goddamn Japanese always infecting my boy with that Nintendo gaming system. <laughs> when you put a southern twang on anything, it sounds racist. Like, goddamn McDonald's serving me cheeseburgers and french fries. <laughs> They're Americana. <laughs> like, yeah, it I always. Guess, I guess you're kind of right. <laughs> yeah. Goddamn milk putting in my cereal, getting it all soggy. <laughs> I mean, it just sounds like you're full of hate about everything. <laughs> Why is that the most hateful accent? Because it's associated with like bigotry and and 
all sorts of it's stuff. So funny. You know that's only an American thing. Yeah. Like in other countries, they just think we all sound like that. <laughs> right. They, that think that, they, they think that cowboy is just America. Yeah. They're just like, how you doing, partner? <laughs> Would you like a cheeseburger <laughs> and get fat watching television reality? Yeah, they all just think that yeah, we just <laughs> eat cheeseburgers, sound like cowboys and yeah. I mean, a lot of us are fat. <laughs> <laughs> we do eat a lot of cheeseburgers. Yeah, yeah. Put the cheeseburger now, motherfucker. We see you. <laughs> yeah. We're not talking to you directly. No, I mean, that's kind of fucked up, though, Jonas, with the bees. Um, Because, like, we get a ton of invasive species, and it's just that one that's going to be the tipping point. Oh, that you just... know what else, dude? You know what else I saw about bees? Ooh. Is there's, like, a bee plague spreading around the U.K., it's like it's a like bee there, plague. It's like a it's like a bee virus. A bee virus, and it's like killing tons of bees over in over in uh, England. Oh, that's a it's problem. It's like spreading like wild. It's like it's like the uh, it's like the situation for bees. Maybe uh, the bee president will have to quarantine all the bee people. You know, they're gonna go on the uh, bee, bee lockdown, and they're gonna <laughs> and all the honey industry is gonna go bankrupt. <laughs> they're gonna have to do a bee bailout. Jonas, this is the most adorable <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> The, the bee the bee apocalypse. I could just picture a little bee dad coming home. Yeah, honey, to close down the plant. <laughs> like the movie. What was that movie they did about? Was it called Bees? I don't fucking. It was bee Ant- story. Bee yeah, movie. dude. He's like, well, he's like, honey, I don't know what to do. Miss Mr. Johnson, <laughs> Miss Mr. Sting is gonna shut down the plant dude, at the end of the week. I love that. Now it's all like, how are we gonna save the plant? I don't know. Let's have a honey drive. The honey drive, Jonas. It's adorable. Let's let's fucking promote that shit to Disney. You can make a million dollars. No, Jonas, they'll just steal it and then sue us. <laughs> they'll steal our idea and then sue us for having their idea first. Jonas, <laughs> have you ever like googled your your name, your real name? Yes. Have you found other people who have had your name? Uh, yeah. There's actually a surpri- like my uh, my birth given name is not a common name. My first and last. Mm. I mean, they're not like they're not like. It's not like it's like Ezekiel or something, but it's not like super rare, but it's not yeah. like John Smith. You I know what I mean? I would say your name on the uncommon list is like a five or six. Out of ten? ten. Yeah. yeah, yeah somewhere around there. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's not like, yeah, it's not like. Yeah, it's like, not John. John Smith. Like, or. <laughs> and right. It's definitely not L- Lawrence. <laughs> yeah. Or Ezekiel Winnebago. Yeah. You know, something like that. But you said you, said you have found other people. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I'm just like, oh, like, I remember being like, like uh, 18 and like first time using the internet, I found another guy with my name and I was like, hey, we have the same name. So I'm an email. <laughs> Send him an email. I think it was on MySpace. I was like, "Hey, dude, we got the same name." <laughs> that man, he, Jeffrey Epstein. He, he didn't reply. <laughs> oh, imagine that. <laughs> He's like a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I, I've done likewise, and there's like a freaking ton of people with my name. <laughs> okay, was, like a million... and your name's not super common either. It's, uh, way more common than I thought. So you're man. probably like, I'd say. I don't know. You're like a five. And funny enough, most of the people with my name happen to be black, which I thought that was weird. I thought I was the only one. Apparently, I'm not. Guess guess my mom was black when she named me. (laughs) (laughs) She's still today. NWB. That should be a a crime. Naming while black. All right. All right. But uh, what we're going to talk about is it happened in Kentucky. A Kentucky governor by the name of An- Andy Bashar. That's not Bashir. a very common name. Bashar? Bashar Bashir, maybe? Yeah, okay, Bash- anyway. Bashir. Either way, Bashar Bashir. Um, on Monday, April 27, he was holding a meeting, and it was uh, it was uh, published by the press and everything, and they yeah, were yeah. there, and he was talking about how one in four residents in Kentucky right now have filed for unemployment. One in four? One out of every Four. So twenty five percent of people that's in the entire lot. state. Yeah, man, it's having that's real like, effects. Okay, that's like the Great Depression level of unemployment. Yet the stock market has rebounded from the giant. How are how are companies gaining value when no one is working? Well, I mean, it's Kentucky, and there's no revenue. We're talking about Kentucky. We're, we're talking not talking about, about all of America. We're talking about Kentucky. Anyway, anyway, all right. So Kentucky all, is. I mean, there's like. Did seven, the one plant get shut down? Is that the joke? <laughs> there's sixteen people yeah. in Kentucky. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> The cereal plant got shut down. Quarter of the state is unemployed. Yeah, gotcha. Basically. So uh, he was talking about that. And then he was saying that certain people were putting in false claims. 
<laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So he started to uh, go over this one account where he was like, "Now I had a man by the name of Tupac Shakur file for unemployment." Well, that everyone that's, knows he's alive, dude. No, no. he, he was, was like, working in Kentucky. Now that man thought he might have been being funny, but he's holding up the process for everybody else. And those were uh, that's a paraphrase of what he had to say about the whole incident. Yeah. Well, Jonas, do you think there's another Tupac Shakur out there? There is another. There two. is another Tupac well, Shakur. Well, I'm out sure there. that like okay, my guess is that the last name wasn't really Shakur, and they've and they, and they named and, and they did something to make that happen. Okay, so uh, yeah, I did actually look onto <laughs> that. The man's name was Tupac Malik Shakur. He is 46 year old, 46 years old, and he was a sous cook. And his restaurant closed down. He said that he had changed his last name because he was, I mean, the last name Shakur is a Muslim term that means the love of God or the love from God or something. Yeah. So he changed his his last name to Shakur, but his first name was really Tupac. Right. And he's 46, which Well, well I'm sure his kinda mother makes was a sense. Tupac fan and named him Tupac. Where else is that name going to come from? In fact, I remember hearing stories. About a mother naming their child at Tupac. There's more Tupacs out Oh, there. absolutely, dude. And they're all 46. <laughs> <laughs> Around that age, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, me and you, we were just out of range from being named Tupac. I was so close. It was either Jonas or Tupac. <laughs> Your mom was looking at the papers. <laughs> yeah, she's like, which one should I Tupac hand Tupac wasn't the even a rapper when I was born. Was he not? Oh, that's how we missed it. We were, he, he was after our time. Yeah. Well, this dude's 46. How the hell did he get it? Wait a minute. Would he be older than Tupac? No. Yeah. Yeah, because we're not 46. And yeah, when we Tupac were born. Tupac was old. When, when we, we were, were born, was Tupac was not putting out CDs. Because NWA hadn't even put out CDs when we were born. Wow. And NWA was before Tupac. What? Maybe he was named Tupac before Tupac. He's he, the original Tupac. Oh, my God. We the rapper him. was a fraud. <laughs> Holy F and S, dude. We just figured out the goddamn clue. This is why everyone thinks Tupac is alive, because he is. Son of a bitch. I don't know a lot about Tupac, but I don't even think Tupac was his real name. I don't need like I don't remember. I don't either. But uh it turns out is that uh what's his name? Andy Bashir had to get back up in front of the people and apologize and say, you know what? We do have a Kentuckian by the name of Tupac, goes by Malik. <laughs> so his name's Tupac he doesn't even go by Tupac well he goes by Malik now because obviously there's been some issues with it so, and he dude's been waiting on his unemployment check that everybody else that oh, lost their job get, is getting. nobody's getting that check <laughs> <laughs> they ain't got Why enough people to, they, the seven people working at the unemployment office can't process 700 million claims <laughs> you gotta give them jobs some right. of those people need to apply yeah dude I mean, well, since the country's open. You know what? Honestly, though, what? if it ever does come down to something like this again, like you want to be one of those first people to put your application in at the unemployment office. Oh, yeah. Because oh, it never the, hurts to be first, man. Yeah. And that's a city job. That's going to pay you good. Good yeah. benefits. Yeah. Chance for advancement. Yeah. Oh, boy. And yeah. boy, do they need hard workers yeah, right now. Yeah, here comes you know? our boss, Neil. He's been here for <laughs> for. <laughs> His best has been here for 37 years. He comes down, he's like, I like the way you process some claims, boy. <laughs> keep Everybody your, keep your work up. One day you'll be in the process level two. Everybody has a southern accent. <laughs> no, that wasn't southern. <laughs> that was a little, had a little draw. I love it, though, dude. All our characters have southern accents. <laughs> I mean, it's a world full of hate, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they. That's what we sound like here. America. Every, everybody in America. Hey, America, Miami Vice and oh cheeseburgers. My God. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Hey, America. Yeah. God, oh dude. my God. It's like I wish. Okay, you know, like sometimes, it's like if you're part of something, you you have a hard time looking at it objectively. Like from like like if you were someone yes. who, like someone like psychology one hundred and one right like so like as an American, someone who's born as an American who's lived here my whole life, I understand that there's that there's some fucked up shit that we do, but like. I wish I could, like, remove myself to see um, the view of America from another country 
and only know that like grow up in like Bosnia and just only see America through the version that Bosnians see America. Like how fucking weird it must be. Like, Uh, I feel like the common consensus with a lot of the countries is like, especially when we're talking like third world, second world, I think they will prefer because they realize that they got some real serious issues that could mean like them getting shot, them being right. detained from their family, falsely right, in prison. Right, right. Like when you're talking about North Korea, I'm pretty sure they'd rather be here. All right. We Even, t- whether they, well, if they say it out loud, they won't be there to talk about it anymore. But yes, in exactly. their minds. And the way I know that is because how often do you have American citizens defecting to another country? How many times we do leave you have- on our own free? We're just like, oh, we're going to live in. England or live in Canada yeah. or live in Mexico. Or yeah, whatever. there's no such thing as an American refugee, you know? Right. Because we don't need we don't flee. refugees. We leave on our own accord because we want to. So, Or, I, I mean, well, yeah, because they don't deport citizens. No. So, yeah. I mean, like, I'm sure there's cases of people trying to go over to the UK and just trying to, like, slide in and live there. And obviously you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. I know there's probably some deport, deportation, extradition or whatever needs to take place. And it's impossible, well, nearly impossible to become a citizen of Canada, man. It's hard. But you don't really hear about, like, America's fleeing the country because of persecution. It, just, it don't really happen. Right. Like, if you're running for your life because you did some shit, that's one thing. But right, yeah. Yeah, it's just weird, man, because it's, it's even hard to, like, it, and it's like, it's, uh, it's like any situation. If you grew, grew up in a culture of, like, gangs or drugs or whatever, it's like, yeah. to, like, to think of, like, how it, to look outside looking how people look in at you mm-hmm. from that and it's, it's just it's just weird man it's just yeah i don't know i, I have to say that uh it, it is hard to to know exactly how they feel about us but um, you know what fuck that shit our pamphlet our america pamphlet to try to get people to come in it looks pretty good as far it as will, I'm concerned. Uh, i mean we don't even need one it's just like <laughs> america people are like Hey, you know what? And that's true, <laughs> Jonas, because everybody's talking about America. They talk about us, man. Our good, ratings through the roof. Good or bad, they definitely are talking about us. <laughs> Not everybody's going to like you, Jonas. Our ratings are through the yeah, roof. Yeah, well, you know, Way whenever you're on than top, the people are always going to try to tear you down. No, Jonas, we're not at the top. Who's at the top? Who's at the top? What, what are you going to say? Who's at the top? <laughs> Why don't you you think me? it's America? You think America's at the top? China there? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> who's on the top then? You know why? Because you only hear about the problem ones. You never hear about the good student who's <laughs> always pointing his fucking face forward in class, getting A's on his paper and just tucking them in and taking them home to mama. Yeah. We don't know. I don't know how they're living in Sweden, but I hear it's pretty goddamn sweet. <laughs> All right? I'm just saying. Nice pun. (laughs) I mean, it is. There's countries where they, like, they start paying you, like, you can retire at earlier ages and you're guaranteed health care. Is that what makes a country better? Yes, because that is what makes the way of life better. If we're ta- if we're comparing ways of life and the reasons why people want to migrate here versus any anywhere else, yeah. Okay. I feel like the way of life. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't have enough Why information to say we're at the top. And then next episode, That's you so come back. And you no, you're me, trying to get me to do school. You work? give me a top ten breakdown of best countries based on economics, on the cultural awareness. Motherfucker, <laughs> I'm 47. I ain't doing none of that. 47. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all right, but that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel under Crazy Town Media or follow us on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, all those places you can listen to podcasts. And uh, follow your boy TNT <laughs> Dynamite TNT D I O N M I T underscore Crazy Town on you, Twitch.tv. You know, you know the part that you really should be telling people because you spell your name different than Dynamite is the part that you never actually say. <laughs> You're like TNT blah, 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 at crazy town because most people would spell it dynamite like the actual dynamite not right, how you see, spell it see I, i'm gonna live my life the way i want to live my saying, life if you're trying to market a product you tend to make sure <laughs> the part fa- that may a, be hard to understand nah, it's it's, it's a fake commercial it's okay <laughs> a fake commercial. <laughs> yeah I, like, ca- I like it it's a mockumentary of a of a because you're a, gonna be like what the fuck did he say just look in the comments it's 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 in it's, it's right. in the comments it should be why it's, not everybody put my name and how you spell it in the comments <laughs> There, it's there now. There'll be a whole big zero <laughs> on there. <laughs>
<laughs> just like my chat count. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. But for Jonas, TNT we'll get you on the next one. We are out.